Welcome back. Well, some people call what they do for a living a job. Some call it a career. I think the difference is if you love it. I agree. Now, this would be one of those career changes for you. Donna Gallagher with Southern Arizona Family Services is here to tell us about a great opportunity. Donna, we love when you come back Thank because you. we know that we're going to get more people to call and more people to be a part of this opportunity. Absolutely. So if someone hasn't heard, what are we really talking about? What is this opportunity? So what our agency does is we provide in-home supports for seniors and children and adults with disabilities and we're looking for all different kinds of folks so that our folks can remain at home so they might do housekeeping they might do cooking personal care respite habilitation and even driving people to and from doctor's appointments great well we're definitely going to go back through everything that you look at when um, somebody applies and uh -huh. any kind of training that would need to happen beforehand but you know, every time you come on, you say, you know, you got some great, a great turnout, yes. and 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 we love hearing that. But actually, you have a pretty immediate need coming up. We, that we do. Want to we just have so many people that we don't want to say no to. So right now, we have three very specific needs. We are looking for male and female staff who might have early afternoons, evenings, and weekends available to help provide respite so that the primary caregiver can get a break. Often caregiving is a very overwhelming responsibility and we really have a need there. The other thing is we're about to start a very large summer program. It's a camp program for students with disabilities. People don't think about this often, but if a family has three kids, you know, two of their kids who might not have a disability can go to many of the camps that are out there. Sometimes that's a struggle if they have a child with autism. So we provide a very specific summer program and we're looking right now to hire those staff, have them come on, get trained, work part time and then come on full time during the summer. And then the last thing we're looking for is people who have an interest in cooking or cleaning that might be able to help some of our seniors who aren't able to do that in their own home. So we have always a big need. There's always. always this need because we have talked before about almost being like puzzle pieces. Exactly. We're looking for people because we want to make sure we are matching the people up with the right person that's going to help Correct. them. Yep. So that's why we say men, women, uh, different ages. Exactly. Yep. So some of our staff might uh, some of our staff might want to work with children. We have other people who have more experience with seniors. And then of course from the client perspective, I have seniors who say, you know, I don't want a young kid. I want someone who knows how to cook and, you know, can share my sort of worldly experiences and things like that. And other times I have a young man with autism and he really wants someone who might go to the U of A right. to hang out with him. I love that. Well, yeah. And now we're talking about all these different things that you're looking for. Do we need to talk about any kind of training or experience coming into this? Yes. So once again, if people call us today, we will get them in the door for an interview. They must be 18 years of age. They have to have a vehicle and they have to be able to pass a fingerprint clearance card and an adult and child protective services background check. After that, we do the rest. We train people in first aid and CPR and all different kinds of things they need to do the job. If they already have that training, they can come apply it and they don't need to to take it again. And what about the areas of town that you guys cover? Yes, yeah, so really large area. The greater Tucson area, I spent last week in Sarita and Green Valley. We're in Marana, even up to Dove Mountain. And of course, since people work in the homes of the people we support, we prefer to hire someone who lives in pretty close proximity. Otherwise, they're not going to be able to sustain that work if they have to travel an hour and a half to get to their job. Right, and it, it actually kind of sounds like we're just doing good in the community, but this is also a job. So let's talk about benefits, insurance, yeah, anything sure. like that. Yes, so we have people who work part time, and if you choose to work 30 hours a week, you are eligible for health care, and we have four different Blue Cross Blue Shield plans. We also have paid time off, and anyone who works 35 hours a week gets paid time off as well. That's vacation time, holiday pay, things like that. And Donna, we talked a little bit earlier about you getting phone calls from coming on right. the Morning Blend uh -huh. and people hear, hear this opportunity. What, have you had any feedback on why they're calling or people that have ended up getting the job? Yes. So there's usually something that I say that hits their heart. Yeah. Like someone who might say, well, you know, I have really good cooking skills. I didn't think about it being a vocation, but maybe I could help a senior stay at home and not have to go in a nursing home because I can cook for them and they can have three nutritious, healthy meals every day. That's incredible. Now, if anybody watching is, is starting to become interested and they want to apply, tell us all the ways that we can do that. What's the best way? Sure. So they could call immediately, and that's 520-512-0200. They could also come into the office, which is our preference, and that is at 350 
South Williams Boulevard, Suite 270, and it says Southern Arizona Family Services on the door. They can walk in Monday through Friday between 8 and 4, and we will help them fill out the application and interview them right on the spot. If they have their Social Security uh, card and if they have any of the trainings, bring their ID, come on in, and the, we can get them into training tomorrow. And I know we're looking, like we said, for a lot of different people, different ages, but uh -huh. what is the minimum age requirement? They, they have to be 18 years okay. of age in order to walk in the door. Yes, yes, so those college students, this would be a great opportunity it's perfect. for them. Yeah, it's yeah. Perfect. and now is the time before we get to the summer so that they can be fully trained. And then what a great summer job for any college student. It's great, and it's also really good for the resume. You know, sometimes people don't think about that, but it's a really great job. They're making a difference in someone's life, and it can be a career builder for oh, them. Yeah. Definitely. Well, Donna, you know we love when you come on, Thank and uh, we love having kind of a hand in making sure you get all of the people Thank that you, you need. Thank you so much. Because the work that you do in this community is really outstanding, yeah, and it's you. such a pleasure to have you on. Thank, thank you, you so much. And again, for more details about making a difference with Southern Arizona Family Services, log on to southernarizonafamilyservices.com or call 512-0200.